Aloha party people and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a cocktail. The blood and sand. We're gonna do it two ways. Traditional and we're gonna try to make it the way that the Tiki Tea makes it. Alright, so let's go. Alrighty, the blood and sand. It's believed that this cocktail is named after the bullfighting movie of the same name, starring Rudolph Valentino. It first appeared in the Savoy Cocktail Book, published in 1930. And in 1941, when the movie was remade, a then unknown bartender by the name of Ray Buen retooled the drink to the preferences of the movie's main actor, Tyrone Power, said to have been a regular at the Dresden in Hollywood, California. Enamored by the legend of this drink, a few friends and I journeyed across Los Angeles to try its many iterations at today's best craft cocktail bars, including the Thirsty Crow in Silver Lake, Big Bar in Los Feliz, and of course the Dresden, where now legendary bartender Ray Buen retooled this cocktail for Tyrone Power. And rounding up our blood and sand tour, we finished our adventure at the legendary Tiki Tea, the bar that Ray Buen eventually opened on his own in 1961. Here, the blood and sand cocktail gets retooled once again, probably sometime in the 1970s when tequila was the hot new spirit. When you order a blood and sand at this bar, you can specify tequila, scotch, or bourbon. And when you do, you get chance of Toro Toro while they pour the float on your cocktail. And Ferdinand the Bull runs across the bar. Something fun that we did with the Tiki Tea is a collaboration on a Raging Bull Tiki Mug. This Tiki Mug takes the shape of a bullfighting ring with Ferdinand the Bull busting out of the stadium while people shout Toro Toro Toro. What a unique drink. Let's try and make one. All right people, I'm here with my buddy Dave Vagero and we're gonna to try to make our own blood and sand. Now, full disclosure, I've never done this before, so be, be forgiving, okay? For sure. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna start by putting ice in our coupe glasses to cool them off while we make the cocktail. And this isn't crushed ice, it doesn't really matter, because we're just using it to cool the, the glasses off. And then we're gonna dump them. All right. Okay, so, uh, do we put ice in this when we mix it? Do you know? Uh, well, um, I'm not sure. I usually put it in there. And, and shake just, it, right? Just to cool it as I yeah, shake it. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, and I think it's safe to, to do that with this kind of ice, since it won't really dilute it too much because it's not crushed ice, so. Um, okay, so the blood and sand has four ingredients, real simple drink, and it's four equal parts. Okay, so we're gonna start with orange juice, and I always start with the least expensive ingredients so that if I screw up, then I don't waste the good stuff. That's the genius idea. So, and this is gonna look big because I'm making two of them. So four equal parts. Okay, so there's orange juice. Uh, the next thing is any kind of cherry liqueur. So I'm using the Luxardo cherry. A, a popular ingredient that is used in the blood and sand is the cherry hearing. And I believe cherry brandy sometimes is used in that, mm -hmm. right? So we're gonna use the Luxardo cherry because I love Luxardos. And, and again, I've, this is the first time I'm making this drink, but this is the first time I've also had it with the Luxardo cherry. So we're gonna see how this tastes. All right, uh, sweet vermouth. So I'm using the Dubonnet Rouge. 
Okay, nice. so. I don't think I've ever tried that brand. So I gotta confess that I Googled it. Oh. So I Googled like what would be a good sweet vermouth and, and this one is actually like at the top of the list. Wow. So, and I'm gonna use Four Roses bourbon, so. Always good. Yeah, Four Roses is real good. And I can smell it and it smells good. All right, so four equal parts, here we go. I don't know how long I'm supposed to shake it. Mm -hmm. I usually do like 15, 20 seconds shake. Just so that the chill gets all in there, yeah. Okay, so like I've got a nice, look at that uh, frosty shaker, here we go. All right, I am going to strain it into our coupe glasses. Now, the reason why we don't care about what kind of ice we're using is we're just using it to cool off the glasses. Okay, so here we go. Let me move these so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. Sorry about that, guys. I'm no mixologist. I'm just a guy who makes drinks in his home bar because he enjoys cocktails. All right. So here we go. This is the bourbon. This version. is the bourbon blood and sand. Now, the reason why you use the cherry liqueur is to symbolize the blood and the orange juice is supposed to symbolize the sand. So um, we're going to see. Here, these are fun. These are Tiki T yeah. coasters. Beautiful. So let's do that. All right, so one for you. Thank you. And one for me. Okay, here you go, guys. That's the finished product. Look at that. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> let's see if, if let's see what it tastes. Let's see yeah. if I screwed this one up. Ah, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Tastes Ooh. like a blood and sand. Yeah. So very nice. When I go to the Dresden, I order blood and sand with bourbon, and you gotta do that these days because they have their own version of the blood and sand now. But there was a time when Ray Buen was there, the legend is that he retooled the blood and sand. So in 1922, the blood and sand was created for the movie Blood and Sand mm. that starred Rudolph Valentino. Wow. And then the movie was remade in 1941. Okay. And Tyrone Power, who was a regular at the Dresden, would order this from Ray Buen, who retooled the drink to his palate, to his to <laughs> his preference, right? Interesting. And so this is the recipe that we're doing with this. They don't make it like that anymore. They've changed it since then. Okay. And then Ray Buen, as we know, left the Dresden when he eventually opened the Tiki Tea in 1961. Yeah. And in the 70s, they retooled the drink again, which I believe is because of, of the tequila craze in the 70s. Mm. And that was like the hot new spirit in the 70s. And so today, if you go to the Tiki Tea, they are making it with tequila. And so we're gonna try that version after. Yes, see if we fall over. <laughs> we're gonna see what we think <laughs> of that. But for now, we're gonna enjoy this, so. Mm. Mm. It's good. So. Here are my thoughts about it. Mm -hmm. It works actually pretty well. Although, you know, the 1111 is kind of strange to me. Like, it doesn't seem like orange juice is supposed to go together with bourbon and, yeah, exactly. and vermouth and stuff, mm -hmm. but it works, right? Yeah, absolutely. I read online that there are bartenders who are riffing on that version and they're they're removing the orange juice and replacing it with some kind of an orange liqueur oh interesting yeah which would make it all booze like a cognac or something like like an orange like a what would they do? what would that be like a uh grand marnier yeah that's it that's what i'm thinking yeah, yeah so orange cognac. but then like there's it's all booze at that point right because yeah. then, then you've got like the, the spirit then yep. you've got the the orange liqueur the cherry liqueur yeah. and the vermouth oh my gosh yeah, yeah. and i don't normally like <laughs> vermouth but uh, in this case, I think it works. I can taste it in here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and so overall, it's it's. I would imagine it's. This is going to be a much smoother version of the drink compared to that tequila one because I I would imagine the tequila is going to cut through much sharper right. than the bourbon. 
Well, should we finish this before we do the tequila one? Let's do the tequila mm. one, or what do you think? Uh, you know what? We could keep keep like a little bit at least of this so that we can do a direct comparison. Is that? I'm gonna get drunk, man. I just <laughs> like we're we're gonna be drinking this, and then we're gonna be drinking the tequila one. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I want to do the tequila one. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna cut real quick because I have to prepare my ice make my ice crusher, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna cut back and start making that tequila one nice. all right so hang in there all right yeah all right folks we're back now what we're gonna do is make the version that they make at the tiki tea so sometime in the 70s they changed the spirit to tequila and i think that's because it was the uh that was the hot new spirit in the 70s people were drinking tequila and they adapted it accordingly so we're going to do our best i don't know the exact recipe so what i'm going to do is do what i know we're going to make this drink with the same recipe that we made with the with the bourbon but instead of bourbon we're going to use tequila and the thing that they do different at the tiki tea is they also do a tequila float with Fernando the Bull. <laughs> We're gonna do that too. So uh, let's get started. Nice. Okay, so, oh, and here's the thing that they do different also at the Tiki Tea. Crushed ice. See that? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna put crushed ice in here and we're gonna mix it with crushed ice. Sounds good. Okay, guys, like, like I said, I've never made this before. So if I look like a bumbling idiot, it's because I am. <laughs> so here we go. I'm busting my blood and sand cherry right now. <laughs> Using cherry hearing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not cherry hearing. It's, oh, it's like I'm busting my Luxardo cherry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My blood and sand cherry with Luxardo cherry. Nice. All right, so there is our, let's put a little bit more in here because that might make the tequila a little bit easier too. <laughs> yeah, oh God, I'm feel, I feel it already. <laughs> I can feel the pain already. I know, right? Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, what was our recipe? All right, it was 111, right? Yep. Okay, so, so we're gonna do, juice, right? yeah, let's do orange juice. Now, as you're making this, let's just to reiterate the so the very original version of the blood and sand that was what spirit was that? It was actually scotch. Oh, really? It's supposed to be scotch. Scotch, oh scotch gosh. whiskey. Yeah. So also pretty strong spirit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not much of a scotch guy. I like bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, I think scotch is just. A, I mean, I'll drink it. Yeah. It's, it's, oops, it's just a little bit heavy for me, you know? It's so interesting because scotch has like such a specific flavor to it and, and right. even a nose on it that that would change the attitude of the drink so much, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. So I was doing two shots of each because I'm making two drinks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should do two shots of this if we're still going to float it. <sighs> yeah. Maybe, Maybe one. one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, Oops, sorry, we'll, sorry. We'll go a little All right, so easy. I'm using salsa gold, and uh, so let's see what happens here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do one. I can hear the fans already out there, just like, no man, that's not even. Right. That's all the blood and sand. <laughs> that's, that's like drops of blood. All right, and now <laughs> the Tiki Tea uses a drink mixer, so we're gonna use a drink oh, mixer. Oh, cool. It's overflowing. I'm trying to do this the way they do it at Tiki Tea. Now, I don't, again, I don't know if the recipe is right, but uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna just try to use some. Use like a hot sauce strainer or something. Like that. Some kind of like, you know, Here we go, yeah. deductive reasoning of how we think maybe, maybe they do it, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So yeah, the Mike, color. Mike Sr. is watching right now. <laughs> All right. The color looks okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It looks like the color. So, okay. So check this out. So we've got blood and sand coasters. I know I spilled a little bit on that. Mm -hmm. Blood and sand coasters that say, they say Toro Toro on them. Okay. So. Because of that. So here we go. Like I'm going to put the, them there. Now. Like in the tea. 
Just like the tea. And then we've got, and we've got Fernando the Bull. Yes. There you go. All right. Awesome. Well, he doesn't have much to, to walk across. Okay. All right, here we go, here we go. Toro! 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 My stopper was just too open. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look. There he is, guys. <laughs> that's very authentic. Yeah. All right. That's perfect. Yeah. He, see, he even he even pauses like the ones at the Tiki Tea. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All oh, right. Shit. All right. Now. All right. Here we go. So, diving in. This is not going to be good. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, good. Straw. Oh, thank you. Straw. All right. Cheers. All right. Best of luck. Here we go. Us. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> Hmm. Oh yeah, it's actually not bad. Yeah, it's really good. Oh it's, my, it's actually you need to tell. Oh, we're good. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> smoother, I think, than that. Yeah, that's funny. How bizarre! Yeah. Wow, it's pretty good. Okay, but it, it's when that floater gets down to the bottom. That's when you go. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, I didn't put as much float because, boy, was it pouring out of that. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. the Tiki Tea, they put like a BB yeah. or something in there because they, yeah, they, 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 uh, yeah, they really yeah, shake it. Yeah, so. It goes forever. <laughs> so, uh, wow, well, so yeah, actually, we, like, uh, let's, 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 yeah, let's taste. Let's do a back to back comparison. Comparison. Now. All right. I mean, this is like mellow, you know? And then. They actually do still taste the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, but this is more, uh, dare I say, it's smoother. Mm. It's definitely got like a, a bit of like uh, some tartness to it, but it's, it's not like, you know, right. It doesn't like punch you in the face or anything. I'm actually um, surprised. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And then, yeah, I think, yeah, for, for me, this is like a, a mellower flavor. The, neither of them are like really punchy. Right, right, um, right. But, uh, but yeah, I feel like this one still, at least for me, has a little more attitude to it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Look how different yeah. they were, too. So we're drinking this out of a coupe glass, and, and I know we have a lot of bartender friends out there that um, can tell you why you use a coupe glass is, you know, you, use, you, you hold the stem so that it keeps the glass from warming up your drink or it yeah. keeps your fingers from warming up the drink because you're supposed to serve it without ice and that's how you keep that drink cold. But the Tiki Tea does it with crushed ice and they do it in a goblet. I don't yeah. have the goblets. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're just doing it in these double rocks glasses, also known as Mai Tai glasses. But, um, hmm. Which is shocking because you have uh, 10,000 mugs in here or probably more. I know, right? <laughs> no goblets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's good. It's really good. It's actually pretty good. Considering how much tequila. And they do taste similar. So yeah. I'll say this. The taste, they both taste like blood and sands. This one just has a more intense flavor. It's just richer. But it still has the same flavor as the Tiki Tea version. And I think that it's because the combination, it still overpowers. I mean, it's it, it still like... Uh, uh, brings the the flavor that you're looking for out, mm -hmm. right? We're just changing the spirit. Absolutely. But I actually I thought the tequila was really gonna screw it up. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like you said, I'm pleasantly it's a surprise. surprised. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So would yeah. I make it again? I don't know. I don't like drinking tequila, but mm -hmm. I'll drink that one. It may have something to do with the high quality ingredients you're using as well. Like it, it just oh. smooths everything, you know. Maybe you so, think. Maybe a little bit. It always adds. It always like sort of. Ups I don't that. think that this is really a high end tequila. Wow. I think this is just an entry level tequila. Mm. But uh, yeah, you know. Oh man, oh man. So yeah. there you go, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed our adventure into the blood and sand. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button, and follow our friend Dave Badgero. You want to throw out your sure your yeah. YouTube stuff? Yeah, if you'd like to look at uh, some more tiki recipes and cocktails, check it, check me out on uh, Cocktail Fridays uh, YouTube channel, and uh, we'll be making uh, actually this week we'll be making a drink from the tiki tea as well. Do another one, the Puka Punch. All right, so, so I haven't made that one before either. So, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, and if you want to hear our podcast, check us out, DesertOasisRoom.com. Dave's been on the podcast before. We're going to probably record one after this. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I hope to see you again at the next one. I don't know what else to say, but other than thank you for watching, and we'll see you again. All right? Yeah, cheers. Cheers.